Everybody, welcome back to another episode of King Tech. I'm your host, Corey, here. And I know it's been a little while, but... No fault, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of King Tech. I'm your host, Corey, here. And I, I know it's been a while, but I'm back at it. New content for you all for quarantine. Hope everybody's doing good out there, staying safe. But today I wanted to bring you a discussion. I recently just bought a brand new MacBook. Well, brand new to me, I should say, but I kind of wanted to talk about what I actually think is the best MacBook to buy in 2020 for new content creators. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a new MacBook, but I also didn't want to underspend and not get exactly what I needed. So stick with me today because I'm going to tell you why I think buying a used MacBook is the best option for new content creators, okay? So subscribe, leave comments, don't forget to hit that like button, just, you know, show me some love, all right? And let's get into this, all right? Let's go. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing I want to say is, when you buy a new MacBook, for me at least, the price was a big determining factor. Now, I did want to buy something that wasn't too expensive, but also would be future proof and I wouldn't have to upgrade it in a year or two because it was old by that point. Now, there are a lot of different MacBooks for a lot of different people depending on what you're going to be using it for. So for this particular use case, I'm a new content creator starting out on YouTube, trying to grow my audience, and I needed something that I can make videos on. So I needed to be able to run Final Cut Pro, I need to be able to use some uh, you know, photo editing software to edit photos and edit my thumbnails, stuff like that. So I needed something that can keep up with that type of demand. So for me, I had a budget around $1,200, $1,300. Now, you certainly can't buy a brand new MacBook for that kind of money that's going to be able to do all of those things really well. So what I did was I started looking at the 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro. And I really thought this was the best MacBook for a few reasons. For one, the price on the used market. So what I used was Swappa.com, and Swappa.com had that computer ranging from anywhere between $1,200 up to $1,500 at the entry level. So I found that computer on Swappa.com, and I purchased one for around $1,285. Now, the reason I say that this is the best MacBook to buy in 2020 is because of all the features you get compared to the brand new MacBooks that just came out and the value you get. So let's take a comparison here to the new 13 inch MacBook Pro that was just announced a couple days ago. Now this new MacBook comes with a quad core i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM, uh, 256 gigs of storage, which isn't a bad computer for $1,300. I mean, you get a lot for your money with that, but when you buy and use, you get a lot more for your money. So the 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro that I bought has a six core, core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, um, and then also like the 15 inch is a lot bigger than the 13 inch, so if it's your only computing device, the extra screen real estate works a lot better when you're editing pictures, when you're editing video, having the extra screen space will come in handy. And for video content creators that don't necessarily know about specs, you definitely wanna have as much RAM as possible, you wanna have something with a dedicated GPU, which the 15 inch MacBook does have. Also, you wanna have something with as many cores as possible to handle that workload of editing video. Now, I only record in 1080p most of the time. I will do some 4K editing here and there, but this machine that I bought can handle that with ease. So you definitely wanna have something that not only can handle it today, handle your future workflows. So when I move more into 4K, this computer can definitely handle that workload. Now, there are some drawbacks to buying these computers, obviously, like sometime you may have some issues that the seller didn't tell you about. That's why it's really important to buy from a trusted seller. And like I said, Swappa.com has a bunch of people on there that have been selling and reselling MacBooks for a very long time, and they're trusted. So be careful what you buy, but definitely shop around and find the best deal. Now, there were a few drawbacks that I was concerned about with buying this 2018 uh, MacBook Pro. For one, these switches on the keyboard. You've probably heard every YouTuber complain about these key keyboards and they're unreliable and the shallow depth of field. But to be honest with you, for the money I saved, I was willing to take that risk 
And plus, Apple has a four-year warranty on these keyboards where if it fails within the first four years, Apple will entire, entirely replace the keyboard. So that gave me some peace of mind when it came to buying this computer. And also, I don't think the keys feel bad. Are they different? Yes, but they're not necessarily bad. I can type up a whole paper on here if I wanted to. I didn't have a problem using this keyboard. Now, I kind of wanted to dive a little bit more into this computer, at least for me as a content creator, what am I actually going to be using this computer for? So for me, I, I liked Final Cut Pro and I wanted to stick with Final Cut Pro. So this allows me to go ahead and get Final Cut Pro and with Apple computers, they are specifically made to run with Final Cut Pro. So even if you don't have the greatest and latest processor, Final Cut Pro can take advantage of what your computer does have. So Final Cut Pro can take advantage of the GPU I have inside of here. It can take advantage of the six cores. It can take really good advantage of this computer without me having the latest and greatest specs that might come on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And then also, if you're new to editing and you're just starting out, Final Cut does have a 90 day free trial right now through Apple. So you can try that out for 90 days free, get, you know, get your hands into it, watch some videos on YouTube on how to start editing like I did. And you can definitely dive right into editing um, without having to spend a whole bunch of money up front. So also for me, I wanted to make sure that I had something that was good looking and man, the, this 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch is a beauty. Now, that comes at the price of ports, unfortunately. Apple has this idea that USB-C is going to be the future of everything. And while it is, that's not the case today. So if you want to pop in an SD card, you got to buy a dongle. If you want to pop in some uh, old USB drives you have, you got to buy a dongle. It's just the way it is. But you can buy dongles out there that are like 30 bucks and have every port you need. So it's not the end of the world, but it is something that you have to carry, something else that you have to carry around on top of all your gear. So with all that being said, that's why I think you should buy a used MacBook and save some money and spend it elsewhere. If you save money by not buying a brand new MacBook, that's more money you can put into your camera gear. That's more money you can put into your setting and your setting and your lighting and just so much more for a new content creator. If you're doing makeup, that's more makeup you can buy. If you're doing food YouTube, that's more food you can buy. But I think having a workhorse of a computer will definitely make your life easier and make the editing process and the final process for getting your content to your viewers, you know, it'll make it a lot smoother. And I think as content creators, we, you know, we have to focus on the art, but sometimes we also got to focus, focus on the back end. And I think having a really good computer and buying what you need, not only for today, but for the future will make your life a lot easier. So like I said, check out swapper.com find you a new computer, find you what you need. Um, if you're not in the Mac, they have Windows computers, of course, as well. But um, yeah, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Once again, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. Don't forget to hit that, that like button. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what computer you're thinking about buying. And you know, if you're thinking about buying a used computer, chop it up with me. We can talk about it, okay? So this has been another episode of King Tech. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.